If you were born poor in the United States, the odds are you will always be poor. Similarly, if you were born wealthy, the odds are you will always be wealthy. In fact, the data show that just 4% of those born in the bottom 20% will climb all the way to the top of the economic ladder. Incredibly, my family was one of them. Now, at first glance, our story is a classic rags to riches tale. You see, my dad was born poor in southern England, and we're talking outdoor toilet bowl. They were poor, but they were happy. He asked me to tell you that. <laughs> my dad left school when he was 14, and he seemed destined for a working class life on the factory floor or in the shipyards. But one day, a chance encounter with a military recruiter would change the trajectory of his life. You see, the military would give my dad a second chance at an education, and this would lead to a white-collar job in a powerful emerging industry at that time, semiconductors. Years later, my family would leave the United Kingdom and move to Silicon Valley as my dad climbed his way up the corporate ladder. Now, by the time I was 14, we were living the California dream. House with a pool, money in the bank, American citizenship. My brother and I would attend one of the best public high schools in the state and go on to achieve my dad's greatest dream, that his kids would have the opportunities that he did not have. From outdoor toilet to swimming pool in one generation, that's quite remarkable, isn't it? However, like most bootstrapping stories, if you look a little bit closer, you'll see where my dad had help along the way. That military recruiter would pay for his travel to take the entrance exam for the British Royal Marines. My dad couldn't have afforded that train ticket. The military subsidized his education. The British government had incentivized American technology companies to come and create Silicon Glen and bring good jobs to southern Scotland. My maternal grandfather, who was a shipyard foreman, was able to help my parents with a down payment for their first home and create intergenerational wealth. When we made it to the United States, a company credit union helped to establish us financially so we could get the credit we needed to buy a car and get a mortgage. And let's not forget the help that we had along the way, healthcare, retirement savings accounts, immigration attorneys, all of this was paid for by my dad's employer. So what strikes me about so many of these life-changing moments of opportunity is how simple they are. A train ticket, an associate's degree, a credit score. But what is remarkable is how hard these things are to come by if you don't have that help along the way. I'm Lee Phillips. I am the daughter of Kelvin Phillips, but I'm also the CEO of Save a Life, an online community of over 600,000 hardworking Americans committed to building financial health for themselves and their families. As the CEO of a nonprofit in the financial technology sector, my mission is to ensure that our members and the thousands more who join Save a Life every single month have the same access to life-changing moments of opportunity that change the balance for my family. You see, Save a Life exists because almost 40% of Americans can't cover a $400 expense without going into debt. Save a Life exists because half of American families live paycheck to paycheck with nothing left over for wealth building. Save a Life exists because the average white household has 10 times the wealth of the average black household. Save a Life exists because we know that income alone will not keep 
families out of poverty, investing in assets, educations, homes, entrepreneurship, investing and retirement. This is what keeps families out of poverty for good. Now we have a powerful new tool in our fight to make sure that more people get from the bottom to the top of the economic ladder. Financial technology. Save Alive uses tech to help people to save and build assets. Our work is grounded in behavioral science. We provide cash rewards and incentives to encourage families to save consistently and to help them to set and achieve their own financial goals. We have actionable money management content, resources, and a supportive and vibrant online community that helps our members on their journey to financial freedom. And it works. Our members, on average, they make about $30,000 a year, and they triple their rate of savings in the six months after joining Saver Life. And this matters, because our research shows that if you have less than $250 in savings, your risk of eviction increases by 70%. It's $250. So one of our members is Erica. She lives in Augusta, Georgia. She works full time at a call center, and she makes about $10 an hour. She's raising two young sons. Before joining Save a Life, Erica would save when she could, you know, put some money away here and there. But after joining, and accessing the community, the content, the resources, the cash incentives, she committed to saving $50 from every single paycheck. She could log on and see her savings grow. That savings account would prevent a financial disaster. When Erica's young son was at a routine doctor's appointment, and the doctor discovered an issue that required immediate surgery. And while her son's expenses were covered while he was in the hospital, Erica had to take an unpaid leave from her job because, like millions of working Americans, her job doesn't provide paid sick leave or paid family medical leave. She was able to dip into her emergency fund to cover this unavoidable loss of income and avoid a financial crisis. She then committed to saving $75 from every paycheck. Wealth building starts with savings. When we stash just a few dollars away regularly, we're better equipped to handle life's emergencies, whether that be a flat tire or an unexpected loss of income. And when we can get through these types of disruptions without going into debt, we can start to build wealth. The type of wealth that leads to an education, a better job, home ownership, a safe and secure retirement. Now, this is the life that Erica is working towards for herself and her young boys. Because in addition to working full time and raising her kids, she also completed all of the credits to become a pharmaceutical technician. Her income is going to increase to $15 an hour. But there was a catch. Even though she completed all of the coursework to get her pharmaceutical technician degree, she owed the college money for tuition and they wouldn't give her that degree until she paid. Without the degree, she can't get the job, and she can't build the life she's imagined for herself and her sons. Now, the truly heartbreaking part about this story is that tuition was just $500 a semester. So just like my dad, Erica is working full-time, going to school full-time to create a better life for herself and her family. And just like my dad, she earned an associate's degree. But unlike my, my dad, her pathway out of poverty is blocked by just a few hundred dollars. So how would a financial system that is designed to help everybody build wealth change the balance for a hardworking person like Erica? Well, here's some ideas. If her employer had matched her savings account, she would have doubled her savings and been able to cover that $500 expense. If she had access to more affordable credit, she could have borrowed the money she needed at a reasonable rate, paid it back over time, and built a credit score. If she had access to a 529 account, that's how I'm saving for education for, for my family, she would have seen her money grow tax-free. 
People are joining Save a Life from all across the country to access resources just like these. Well-designed products, resources, financial content, even employer match savings programs. Because we believe that everyone deserves an equal opportunity to the tools that build wealth. And through tech, we're getting it done at scale. Now, you see, my dad, he had a favorite phrase when I was growing up, and I must have heard this a million times. In fact, no joke, I just heard it last week. Luck is when preparation meets opportunity. And now that I'm older, I see that there's a lot of truth in that. But there's another truth that we're probably all familiar with. Talent is equally distributed, but opportunity is not. So how do we ensure that no one's dreams are ever put on hold for want of just a few hundred dollars? And how do we guarantee the potential is always met with opportunity? We do it by removing the financial barriers that have kept too many Americans from getting ahead and staying ahead and building wealth. This is the future we're creating at Save a Life, and you can all join us, literally, at saverlife.org. Thank you. <laughs>